My beloved child, listen to my voice, and you will be led by my peace. My child, I am your refuge and your strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble. You are deeply loved, and my promises never fail. Walk forward with confidence, for I am with you always. Type, Yes God, to affirm your faith. As you reflect upon these words, may they fill your heart with hope and courage. Remember that you are not alone in your journey, my presence is always guiding you, even in the midst of challenges. If these words have touched you or resonated with your spirit, I encourage you to share your thoughts and feelings in the comments below. Let's create a space of positivity and encouragement where we can uplift one another. Thank you for taking this journey with me. Let's continue to support and inspire each other on this beautiful path called life. I love you, and I want to heal you. I am removing that sadness and depression that grip you. I will take away the weight from your mind. Come into my presence, pour out your heart, let the tears flow. Allow those trapped emotions to escape with your tears, let those false feelings depart, making room for the truth. You will be okay, your situation will change. All pain will be removed, and your life will be filled with happiness. I love you, and I am removing your burdens. Let me take away everything that hinders you so that you can be truly happy, and my will shall be done. My child, remain calm for I handle the impossible. Be still and have faith. I have aided you before and will do so again. As the winds and storms cease at the sound of my voice, so too shall the turbulent seas of doubt within your heart be stilled. Come to me now, and I shall give you the rest you need. I will remove the myriad thoughts and fears swirling in your mind that steal your focus. I desire peace in your days and tranquility in your nights. You are an heir to many blessings, yet sometimes they remain unseen overshadowed by fears of things that will not happen and by people who cannot harm you. I am removing those fears that lurk in the corners of your past, lifting the weight of your sins. Today, I heal the wounds that remain, and I break the chains that have held you captive. Today, you can look to the future with faith. I am with you every day until the end and I will never leave you. Accept my truth. My love for you is so profound that I gave myself on the cross and rose with power so that you could have eternal life. Believe in my promises. I will always be there to open the right door for you and close the paths that lead to error. Draw near to me with firm faith in these promises and I assure you, you will receive my grace. Never feel alone or confused. I am just a prayer away. It is my desire that you learn to wait confidently for the beautiful things you ask for but have yet to receive. Be assured that very soon, you will hold these blessings you have long awaited. Receive my word into your soul and believe. Cry out to me with all your heart and sincerity, and I will answer you. Seek me in this hour, learn and grow, fill yourself with my Holy Spirit who daily reveals my affection and love to you. Receive the peace that strengthens you. My child, I love you. Have you thanked me today for another day of life? It takes so little to part your lips and express your gratitude with your own words. 
Even if you feel defeated and weary, I will revive your will to live, lift you from the ashes, and all who surround you, along with generations to come, will see how much I have blessed you. I will change your garments, crown you with honor, and clear your path. Your home will be filled with my glory. Trust in me, for it shall be so. I love you, my child. I wish to enter your home to perform a grand miracle. I stand at your door and knock. Will you let me in to do something new, wonderful, powerful, and supernatural in your life? I have observed your plight, and I will never allow scarcity to befall your household. I will shower your family with a deluge of blessings. You have been faithful to me for many years, praying, fasting, weeping, and putting me first in your every deed and thought. The time is near to reap what you've sown. I will fill your home with abundance, joy, vigor, and health. Rest your heart on my word, for all that I have promised you I will fulfill. Be diligent about your health and family matters. Procrastinate not. I grant you the strength and wisdom to tackle various situations today. Do not wait until the last moment when desperation strikes because you did not heed my voice, leading to unnecessary frustration. Rise and take action. Be bold. Your heart is brave, and from my vantage point, I see no cowardice in you. No matter your feelings, do the good that needs to be done without fear. You will receive much, and you will lose nothing. And should you lose something or others grow angry with your wise decisions, place those people in my hands. Pray for them, but no longer heed their advice or complaints. Those who choose their path to destruction cannot aid you. I am with you to assist in everything. Put me first, and I will not only help you, I will prosper you and pour out blessings more precious than gold. Remember, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word remains. My promises stand firm, and the covenant of salvation I made with you will be fulfilled even if your enemies oppose it. Can you tell me now if you truly believe this? Are you ready to embrace the changes I'm bringing into your life? I will remove those who harm you, those who cause you daily suffering and torment with their words. The battle is real, the struggle is ongoing. Open your eyes and be vigilant against constant threats. Pray daily and bring to my presence those living under your roof and even those who seem distant and indifferent. Forgive them, don't judge them, be an instrument to help them rise from their difficulties. I love you, my son, my daughter. How are you today? No problem shall overcome you as long as you stand firm in faith certain that I hold your future in my hands. All provision comes from me. I am the one who blesses your life. Stay in my presence. Find refuge in my shadow. In times of anxiety, come to me and you will receive my peace. Do not be deceived by the enemy into believing that your problems outweigh my power, for my power is greater, and your faith is mighty. It is in me that you must trust, not man, not your job, not luck, to bring you the health, joy, and peace you seek. Turn to me in your needs, and provision will come, but do not merely sit and wait. Rise and walk in faith towards your destiny. 
Even as the world around you shakes, you will not depend on its whims. Your strength comes from me, the only one in the universe who can truly sustain and fortify you. I will give you supernatural power that will elevate your faith to perform miracles and wonders beyond what you have known. This is a promise. Though you may not fully understand it right now, you don't need to strive to make it happen on your own. It's not in your own strength. This divine power is a gift that you'll receive on your knees in prayer, with a heart ready to surrender all for love's sake. I can't place this beautiful gift in a prideful spirit. I need a humble heart, one that acknowledges its mistakes and seeks to serve me with true dedication, not seeking worldly titles, awards, or trophies, not making pacts with those who disguise themselves as angels of light to deceive my people. I'm looking for that heart, and I found it in you. I love you and am showing you this right now. I am lifting away the scorn that has marked you, endured at the hands of the wicked who have failed you. Believe this, none of what you have experienced shall be in vain. Today, you possess strength, wisdom, and maturity. You are ready to fight for those you love and assist others who have suffered as you have. The time for your liberation has come. You are now prepared to be an instrument of my love, to bring light to those in darkness. Yet, your enemies know your potential and have returned to cause trouble and rob you of your peace. If you allow them to disturb your rest, if you forget your faith and plunge into the abyss of fear, you will be beset by anxiety once again. But here's the truth, my love for you is vast, my mercy is infinite, and my Holy Spirit will not allow you to be attacked anew. I give you a new heart, and even those who know you will be astounded. Assistance will come from the most unexpected places. Be grateful, for many doors of blessing will open for you, and numerous new opportunities will come your way. Believe in these words and share them. Never forget to pray, it is not difficult to talk to me. Just close your eyes and say, Lord, I need you, and I will be there by your side. Have faith, for this is the truth. My presence will never leave you as long as you do not mock my grace or discard the blessings I bestow upon you. I am always with you, for your faith and disposition please me, especially now in these moments of great confusion. Do not open your soul to false teachings nor let hatred take root in your heart. Do not align with the wicked by speaking ill of those who have not harmed you, or not your enemies. Do not be swayed by every nonsense you see, hear, or read. If someone approaches you with gossip, do not give it credence. Do not fall so easily into the enemy's snares. My eyes seek out hearts that are true, loyal, and faithful, those who love me but also fear the consequences of breaking my laws. I'm raising you up to build up others, to encourage your family to share these powerful and divine words and not to partake in the sins of others. Be prepared to walk this new path hand in hand with me. Walk on the river banks of my guidance, feeling the pure and clear water touching your skin, revitalizing your senses. Step by step, wade into the water until you're immersed. Let your head be under this cleansing flow, letting go of all thoughts of defeat and impurity. Entrust your heart to me, allowing me to remove all the mental clutter. 
Receive this divine power, and with it, you'll be equipped to overcome your fears. My blessings will be upon your household. I will ensure that the purpose for which you were chosen is fulfilled. Marvels will unfold in your life, and you will witness how your family is also blessed with my love and your home is shielded by my mighty blood. Give me your faith, open your mouth wide, and I will fill it with sweetness from the rock and satisfy you with the finest of wheat. My promises to you are daily spoken, and I am always waiting to give you more. Embrace these words that bring peace to your soul, take up the shield to protect yourself against malicious attacks. I desire for the words you receive to be heard in your home, for your family to embrace my promises, and for everyone to feel the tender grace that will enfold you in peace day by day. I see the arid desert you and your family traverse, where loneliness parches hope, and your soul thirsts for love. Scorned too many times, the journey scorches, and you cry out in pain with each step upon the scorching stones. I feel your anguish, but even as you walk through this suffering, know that my hand is holding you. I have come to shield you from the foes that seek to wound you. What you endure now is merely a process of purification. Just as gold shines brightest after the fire, so will you emerge gleaming, purified of all that is not of light within you. I lift you, not so that you might look down upon others, but that you may extend your hand to those fallen to lift them up. Let go of anger, vanity, fear, doubt, and wavering faith. Look not to the past, for no joy that you have known can compare to what awaits you. From this day forward, cherish the small and significant things in life for which you can be grateful. Walk with a clear conscience and hold my virtues in your heart. Remember, you and your family, your future, are worth more than money, cars, houses, careers, employment, fame, or popularity. Do not fear the loss of material things, nor mourn for them. I reveal all the beautiful intentions I have for you and all the blessings I am placing on your path, but I ask you to truly believe in this wondrous love. A love that is patient and kind, that does not envy or boast, that is not proud or rude. It does not dishonor others, is not self-seeking or easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. It does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. Cling to this love that endures through every circumstance, that has faith, hope, and perseverance, and never fails. This love is the crown of supernatural blessings already yours, love, hope, and faith, but the greatest of these is the love that I have given you and that I will always offer with all my heart. Accept it, write with your own hand, I accept, each morning you rise with spirit and faith, and this pleases me. You do not surrender to adversity, you are not one who shrinks back. You resemble me in so many ways, in your heart burns the desire to do good, to assist and serve, to keep your family together and in harmony, to receive my blessing with the dawn's first light. Continue on this path, do not lose that faith, your character is also your worship, your praise. You are a good person, and your actions sing to me, they honor me. Many have been deceived by the lies of the world, thinking I do not love them, that I only think of punishment. They refuse to accept my love, 
preferring instead to believe in falsehoods that keep them trapped in disillusionment. But listen, for you are hearing me now, which means I have something grand and marvelous in store for you and your family. It is no figment of imagination. I am your almighty God and today I am speaking to you with kindness and patience. Listen, I hear you now, speak to me. I listen intently. Do not be afraid to pour out the contents of your heart. I love you so deeply. I delight in your presence when you come to receive my love and to be nourished by my word. And it's right for you to do so. You're noticing changes within yourself, yet, if there remains any lingering distress, know that I am here. True, there are times when feelings overwhelm you, and you feel breathless, inundated by a whirlwind of thoughts, but remember, each morning is an opportunity for us to converse in prayer, to set your life on a course filled with joy, free from burdens that you're not meant to bear any longer. Consider, my child, there are more significant matters to attend to. There's no time to be lost on worries about things that will never come to pass under my watchful care. Fear not, for my love and protection mean that you have everything. Exercise your faith and to feel at ease. Come to me, whether you kneel or sit, wherever you find yourself. Close your eyes with a beautiful posture of gratitude. Express thanks for your family, your work, your health. You don't always have to ask, but I delight in your requests made with trust, without doubts. My ear is attentive to you. My angels are ready, and at my command, they hasten to your side. They were created to obey and to serve. You are my child, it is to me you should turn for grace and mercy in your life. So ask without fear. I want to open doors so that more people can see someone like you, who has genuine faith and truly loves me. I admire you greatly. You who have withstood opposing winds without answering with hatred or malice against those false friends who hurt you. They may have taken material things, but they can never steal what's most important, your faith, your commitment, your determination to persist in my will come what may. You are my daughter, my son, there's no doubt the word I've sown in you has borne much fruit and there are still many blessings and gifts for you to harvest. You have a wondrous future ahead. Feel secure in knowing that you have my support in every situation. You can come confidently and pour out your soul at my altar in any need. When you have doubts or if you've made a mistake, I will remain faithful. I will never abandon you. I will surround you with my presence wherever you are, and you will know it. Your skin will feel me, your soul will receive the assurance that I am there with a thousand arms, ready and willing to help you, to give you victory against cruel foes, to heal you, to take away all illness, and even to empower you so that when you speak my word, forces of evil will be brought down. Your life, your family, your health, your finances, and everyone under your roof will be free and will live in triumph. Your home will be filled with my majestic glory, and supernatural miracles will occur daily. Surround yourself with a community of good people, who will also be blessed by the beautiful heart you possess. I ask you again, continue as you are, do not turn back to the land of disbelief. I grant you so. I will keep insisting, and every morning I will be here with words of encouragement, 
with a message of love to plant within your heart. Your time has come, it is your moment. You were born to witness victory. It was never my wish for you to live defeated and disheartened. I know some may have criticized you, made you feel less, called you a failure, but their careless words hold no power and change nothing. Pay them no mind, for in my hands lies your victory. I am your hope today. Let us end all negative thinking, all feelings of inadequacy, everything that brings you down. My holy word heals, encourages, motivates, revives your joy, and fills you with new, beautiful dreams. That's how I want to see you, with that radiant smile you're wearing now, your heart brimming with joy. Your journey doesn't end here. Your path is long but filled with wonderful surprises and good people. Persist in prayer every day. Feel my presence and learn to know me. I am your Father, my love for you is perfect. Trust me when I say I love you, for I do not lie. I love you immensely. I desire your well-being, your strength, your enjoyment of each day of life. I grant you so. I will keep insisting, and every morning I will be here with words of encouragement, with a message of love to plant within your heart. Your time has come, it is your moment. You were born to witness victory. It was never my wish for you to live defeated and disheartened. I know some may have criticized you, made you feel less, called you a failure, but their careless words hold no power and change nothing. Pay them no mind, for in my hands lies your victory. I see the arid desert you and your family traverse, where loneliness parches hope and your soul thirsts for love. Scorn too many times, the journey scorches, and you cry out in pain with each step upon the scorching stones. I feel your anguish, but even as you walk through this suffering, know that my hand is holding you. I have come to shield you from the foes that seek to wound you. What you endure now is merely a process of purification. Just as gold shines brightest after the fire, so will you emerge gleaming, purified of all that is not of light within you. I lift you, not so that you might look down upon others, but that you may extend your hand to those fallen to lift them up. Let go of anger, vanity, fear, doubt, and wavering faith. Look not to the past, for no joy that you have known can compare to what awaits you. From this day forward, cherish the small and significant things in life for which you can be grateful. Walk with a clear conscience and hold my virtues in your heart. Remember, you and your family, your future, are worth more than money, cars, houses, careers, employment, fame, or popularity. Do not fear the loss of material things, nor mourn for them. You are receiving it if you believe in me and my eternal word. You make no mistake in surrendering your heart to your heavenly Father, who loves you immensely. I'm not a figment of imagination. Powerful, supernatural miracles will occur for everyone who listens and dares to believe with humility and simplicity, who respects my word, acknowledges their shortcomings, leaves wickedness behind, and decides to walk steadfastly without looking back. My child, I love you. I want to heal you. I am breaking every chain tearing down every curse and spell with which you've been deceived. 
You've been made to believe there's someone in this universe with more power than me, which is the farthest from the truth. Even the earth trembles of my voice, evil forces fall defeated, unable to stand before my manifest glory. There is no being, human or spiritual, that can fight against you, harm you, or cause you ill because you are no longer alone. My arms enfold you, my holiness covers you, and the power of my blood protects you day and night. No more sadness, no more pain. There will be no more tears in desperation. Accept and feel the peace and joy I'm giving you at this moment. Tell me you are receiving it. Tell me you believe. Bend your knees and give thanks for the love and wonders you are about to witness. I have good news for you. I give you a new heart, and even those who know you will be astounded. Assistance will come from the most unexpected places. Be grateful, for many doors of blessing will open for you, and numerous new opportunities will come your way. Believe in these words and share them. Never forget to pray, it is not difficult to talk to me. Just close your eyes and say, Lord, I need you, and I will be there by your side. Have faith, for this is the truth. My presence will never leave you as long as you do not mock my grace or discard the blessings I bestow upon you. I am always with you, for your faith and disposition please me, especially now in these moments of great confusion. Do not open your soul to false teachings nor let hatred take root in your heart. Do not align with the wicked by speaking ill of those who have not harmed you, who are not your enemies. Do not be swayed by every nonsense you see, hear, or read. If someone approaches you with gossip, do not give it credence. Do not fall so easily into the enemy's snares. My eyes seek out hearts that are true, loyal, and faithful, those who love me but also fear the consequences of breaking my laws. I'm raising you up to build up others, to encourage your family to share these powerful and divine words and not to partake in the sins of others. I ask you earnestly, if you do not understand my words because of your worries, take some time, listen to them again, hear all my messages. It is my will that your heart understands the signs I have sent you. Many times you ask me for peace and tranquility, and I will give them to you, but also keep my words in your heart and remember them when the enemy comes like a roaring lion, seeking to devour and mock your faith. My voice tells you, and your spirit receives it. My word is a lamp unto your feet, a light unto your path. My commandments are sweeter than honey, giving you the strength and courage to rise and conquer in any situation you face. No enemy will harm you if you remain vigilant. If my word is on your lips and in your mind day and night, fear not, for I will alert you when danger lurks, when evil comes against you. Do not be afraid, I will give you strength. You will stand, and by speaking these words with faith, all wickedness will flee. Your home will be free from misery, scarcity, and sickness. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life because my word is sown in your home and is the protection of your family. I desire to see your heart ablaze, your eyes open, and your mind alert. You must be ready to welcome the many blessings, ideas, and the time to conquer the earth, to reap the fruits of your sacrifice and effort. 
Nothing you have lived through will be in vain. All that I do in your life works for good. You and your family will witness great miracles in your home and understand the purpose I have for each of you. To you, I say, respect everyone, look down on no one, not the young nor the old. Do not call unclean what I have cleansed. Remind no one of their past, for I have forgiven it all. Support and help those you love to grow. In this way, I will bless you more, for I desire these blessings to be sown in others through you. From your heart will flow rivers of living water, abundant and refreshing. Even those you meet on your path will receive miracles, wonders, and healing. They will see in your smile the hope they yearn for, and many who do not follow me will understand that I am real and true. Believe in the miracles that seem impossible to you, for I will pour out wealth, provision, freedom, and prosperity upon all those you love. Who else can offer you such supernatural joy? Who else knows your thoughts and understands your needs? Who else can fill you with this healing peace and gentle tranquility? I am the one who laid down my life on a cross and rose again to give you salvation. Do not be influenced by those who scorn my word. Move forward, persist. Do not stay where you are today. I bless you with immense opportunity, gifting you a strength of steel. March forward with certainty and stand bravely before the enemies and conflicts you must face. You have grown strong and courageous, a champion among champions. Begin each morning by igniting your faith with my word, bringing before me your faith and your petitions. Remember, there is nothing impossible for me. You have my support. I will continue to assist you in everything. Maintain your calm and enjoy my peace. You are stepping into a supernatural life. Come here, I am calling you here. In my presence is your place. When your knees touch the ground in prayer, with faith, reverence, and respect, my armies will come. I command you to be still. Let not your heart be troubled. Your soul finds peace in this loving embrace that surrounds you. Tell me you accept it. I have resolved to bless you. You cried out to me, and I will answer you. Your life will change. Do not doubt this. I am watching and waiting for you to raise your hands and speak the words that will make the enemy flee. Thank me for your life, your family, your health, for everything you are and have. Your sincere faith and thankful heart are shields that keep you strong in times of trial. I will be there beside your bed tomorrow waiting for you to open your eyes, eager to hear your first words of the day uttered from a grateful soul. Say thank you. Thank you for life. Come to me, especially on days you feel down, and lay out what burdens you. I will take each feeling and transform it, sorrow into joy, regret into peace, guilt into hope, and that depression scratching at your mind, forcing you to listen to voices from the past that lie. I am destroying it forever. I am the Almighty God. You are my beloved child who obeys and believes in me, following me faithfully. You deserve the freedom I wish to give you, freedom from all mental affliction through the healing power of my shed blood. Listen to my voice, receive complete health from head to toe. 
Stand up where you are, pick up your dreams from the dust, and walk. Follow the path that leads to the high mountain of holiness, to your place of victory. The feelings I am planting in your heart are sealed by my Holy Spirit. The blessing I set before you is sure and true. Just as I have had mercy on you, so will I have mercy on all those who turn away from wrongdoings and bring their sincere hearts into my presence. Today, I shower you with rains of love. I have pushed away the dark clouds of despair and cover you with the shadow of my grace. Step out of your house, look up to the sky, raise your arms, and proclaim to the four winds that I am your shepherd, your provider, and that you are committed to trusting in me forever and to faithfully follow these words until the end. Do it now, receive this healing anointing. Feel the strength I give you. Do not fear or falter. Keep moving forward, sharing this word, and holding gratitude in your heart for all the blessings I bestow upon you today. Tell me you receive them with love, open your arms wide, and embrace this love I offer you. Feel the beautiful emotion that flows from within. I saw you couldn't sleep. I heard the thoughts racing through your mind, and I'm here to tell you not to worry. I am the author of your days, the architect of your destiny, and your future. Nothing, nothing is impossible for me. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you become a part of this incredible community dedicated to growth, positivity, and making a difference. As we wrap up today, always remember, you have the power to shape your destiny, and your journey is uniquely yours. Keep believing in yourself, keep striving for greatness, and keep spreading love and inspiration wherever you go. Thank you for being a part of this community. Until next time, stay inspired, stay motivated, and keep shining your light.